Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Carolyn and Her Clothes. So today is a different type of video. Um, I've seen lots of you getting disappointed in your stitch fixes and I, I know where you're coming from. I was disappointed in my stitch fixes the last several boxes um, prior to the last three. The last three I think were pretty good on and I wanted to give you some advice that what I've been doing that might help you get better fixes. First, number one, do that thumbs up, thumbs down game religiously. <laughs> it's the style shuffle and it will show you items whether you like or you dislike, all right? Do that religiously every day. Second, go into your style profile and update it. If you like Liverpool items and you're saying to them that you only want items up to $50, guess what? The, the stylist isn't going to get those higher priced items to choose from you in your stitch fix. So really try and think about what you'll be willing to pay for, at least what you'd be willing to try on. You know, what is your, your breaking point in your budget? Um, and go to that high point. You know, if your breaking point is, I'll never spend over than $50, well, then you can't expect to get some of these types of brands. <laughs> All right, um, so really think about what that price point is. And if you're also feeling that you keep getting the same old stuff, over and over and over again. Well, maybe it's because you have the how adventurous are you and you say to them, I want that same old stuff over and over again. I have mine slide to adventurous. I want different things to try on. Even if I don't like them, I'd rather get something different than something I already have in my closet. So definitely check out your style profile and update that to make sure that your preferences match your current tastes. Um, and that includes price point, style, and again, if you're sick of what you've been getting over and over again, maybe it's that adventurous slide. <laughs> okay, so what is up, what else? All right, they recently, well not recently, but you were able to save items to your wish list. Definitely, definitely stay, save your items to your wish list. Like put as much in there as possible. What do I do? How do I do this? I go to the new function. So you just literally go up into categories and choose new and scroll through that at least once a day. You're gonna be like, oh, Carolyn, there's so much stuff in here and I've seen it all already. Keep scrolling. And they don't put it in any kind of order. <laughs> I'll be three quarters of the way through scrolling and be like, wait a minute, that was never there before. And I added to my saved items. Um, you know, another thing that they suggest you do, I, at least on Reddit, is also put it in your shopping cart. It seems to me if you're like on the edge of buying it, there's more likely your stylist will get it in a um, item to put in your preview. Now, this isn't going to guarantee. I mean, this is these things that I've noticed have worked for me and what my stylist has recommended and what people are saying on the Reddit boards, right? Um, so basically... Uh, you know, give them as much information about what you are looking for as possible. In, and that is be doing it in an automated way versus your notes. Now in your notes, I would not say what you don't want. Always say what you want. So specifically say, you know, I am looking for the sanctuary, blah, 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 or the Liverpool, blah, 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 blah. That's what I, I put in my notes. You can be more general if you're not that picky, like I'm looking to add more yellow to my wardrobe. But don't say things like, I don't want a yellow because all the, 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 the algorithm does is pick up on the keyword yellow and that's all you'll get. Um, I also recommend if you're very picky about um, materials and if you say no polyester, your choices are gonna be severely limited. So really think about, is it really no polyester or may you bend your rules on polyester. So that is what my recommendations are. Um, I have a stitch fix here. It's all items I actually wanted, a four I picked out for my preview and one that my stylist chose for me. Every single one of them was ones that I was interested in and on my saved items list. Doesn't mean I'm gonna keep them all, but there were ones that were my style and I'd be interested in trying on. Just like you would go to a dressing room in the store. Let me try this on. These are all things that pique my curiosity and I want to try on. Whether I'm going to keep them or not is a different story. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you again for returning subscribers. I appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, what's holding you back? Click that notification bell to get notified of future videos from me. Give me that thumbs up. And just to recap, style profile, saved items, shopping cart, style shuffle. All right. Keep that list updated. Profile. Shuffle, 
saved items cart. <laughs> Take care and until next time.